Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And truly, I have gotten so many great messages and comments from those of you who are just now finding my channel. And I just wanna say thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And those of you who have stuck with me through all of this transition and my move and getting settled here in Florida, I appreciate all of you as well. So today I am sharing with you a new collection release. This one is called Count Your Blessings, and it has a lot of vintage goodness in it. So I'm super excited to share it with you. I will start by flipping through the journal. So for those of you who are new, these collections come with a kit and a blank journal. Um, it's really fun to have a themed kit that comes out Oh, I was saying in the last collection, I was hoping for every six weeks, this has been more like eight or maybe nine if I did the math. <laughs> Either way, I'm getting back into the groove of things and I'm figuring out how to make things flow and happen. And anyway, it's really fun to have a theme. There is a design team that will also receive this kit and do fun things with it, whether it's working in the journal itself or creating things out of the kit portion. So be sure to check out those links down below so you can go subscribe to them and you won't miss anything. Plus they're just awesome creative ladies. I will go through the journal first. I always forget to mention it, but in my Etsy shop, you can get the whole collection or if you're someone who has plenty of things and you just like the little journal that's listed or the kit portion if you just want the stuff that's listed. There's a few of these listed separately as well. So getting into the journal, it will be tied closed with a tea stained piece of seam binding. There are 15 sheets of paper in each journal, which makes 60 pages altogether. <laughs> so here on the front, I have stitched on a little doily piece out of an old tablecloth. And then also here at the bottom is a different tablecloth lace piece, a little piece of coffee stained ruffle here with some cheesecloth and a little piece of lace and the Count Your Blessings title. And it's all been pamphlet stitched together. So here is the inside of that paper. I love this vintage floral print. So the fun thing about this to me is it is vintage, but it's also very floral. You could make this springy if you like these deeper colors. Tea stain paper here in the front. I shared this book page yesterday. It's an old ad, like a phone book directory page here that I had um, some ledger paper, half a sheet of ledger paper, tea stain paper, yellow office paper, tea stain paper, vintage dictionary page, vintage music page, tea stain paper, small little paper bag pocket there, tea stain paper, early 2000 calendar planner sheet, tea stain paper, a piece of graph paper, and tea stain paper strings here in the center. I've left them a little long so you can leave them dangle or trim them however you like. So working backwards, now we have a tea stain page, graph page, tea stain paper, fold out planner calendar sheet, tea stain paper, little paper bag pocket, tea stain paper, vintage music, a little fold out dictionary page, stain paper, fold out office yellow notebook paper, tea stain, graph paper, book page, tea stain paper, and then we have the back of the book. So that is the journal itself. And then we have everything in the ephemera pack. So I'm super excited about this. I'm going to go through everything on top first. Each collection, I like to create just a little beaded bookmark that you can use if you want to. So it, the beads kind of hang out of the top and the bottom. So here you can see the colors. 
super pretty. In the last collection I came out with, there was a little kit to make a little charm with some little clay beads, your little earring piece. This time I made a little kit for a bullnose clip. So there is an antique looking bullnose clip. There is a chain, like a little keychain piece here that you could put into the hole of that bullnose clip. And then there are two little metal hoops, two bigger, what are they called? Well, two larger metal rings here that you can make little tassels out of with this embroidery floss. So there are the blue and the gold colors that you can make the little tassels with. I even love the plastic pieces that have the floss on them. You could use those somehow in your journal as well. I like to include a little package of fibers. So these are the fibers this month. You could make a tassel out of this. You could use it on the end of your paper clips or tags. There's also a glassine envelope here with two smaller paper clips and then a larger paper clip. So then we'll just look through the stuff here in the back of the kit. This is a dollar bill type envelope. It's a cash envelope. It has a flap on the top and it is black. I thought those were fun. There's an old personal size envelope in here. It isn't yellowed exactly, but it is more of an ivory color. This is a fun little piece. I love the giant numbers. They would be fun to cut out for something. So this is like a tag that would hang on a rear view mirror, but here on the bottom it's perforated and there's a key tag portion and a claim check portion. This side is green, obviously, and this side is red. So you can pick and choose. Here is a trifold weekly time sheet paper. I love these. We've seen lots of people make little mini books out of these, which is what I plan on doing with mine. I haven't had one in so long, so I'm excited to play with that. So a friend here on my channel sent me a bunch of old, she works at a car lot and she had a lot of these papers left over. So I just thought they are so fun. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I have just been waiting for the perfect kit to use them in. And since I'm doing a lot of office type papers here, this was perfect. So there's just this sheet that you can use for a journaling card or in a collage sheet or something. There's a vintage shorthand, Greg shorthand book page. This is an old ledger that I have. If you watched yesterday's video, it's completely blank and it is from the 1800s. So this, I looked up my exact ledger online because I wanted to figure out how to take it apart. It's this huge metal book. It's like, they don't make things like that anymore, right? It's just, just amazing. <laughs> That's why it's lasted so long. But anyway, I had to figure out how to get it open and I found it online on Etsy listed for somewhere around $700. It might have been more than that. I'm I'm guessing kind of low because I can't remember, but it was something outrageous. And I was like, would it be more advantageous for me to just sell the book? I mean, it's not even written in, but no, I'd rather use the book and enjoy it and <laughs> share it. So this is just a fun sheet. And to me, that's just amazing. So it's a nice, heavy sheet of paper. It is old. It does look old, but anyway, hope you have fun with that one. Here is a vintage, or well, a book page out of an old telephone book, again, with the advertisements on the side. A vintage dictionary book page. A vintage index book page out of an old book. I love to use these types of things for collage, as you know, and what I appreciate about this is the font. I love the font and I love the yellowed paper. So I thought maybe some of you would enjoy that too. Here is a vintage music book page sheet. There is a vintage yearbook page. They're all different, but there is at least one photo on them. And then I have this fun office sheet again. This one is a type of ledger that they used in their business and it is from 1978. Okay, so that is all of the papers here in the back of the kit. Now we're gonna go through the envelopes and we have two of those. So here in the larger envelope, let's open this up. There is a regular silver paper clip. 
Here is the vintage playing card that is in this kit. I had these vintage receipts, but these are from Henry's Shell Station and it's from 1965. I think all of them are this Johnny Grimm as the customer and just, you know, an oil change probably mostly, but just a lot of fun, 1960s little office paper there. There's a white doily. And then clipped to the back here is a flash card of sorts with a math problem on the front. Sorry if you guys can hear the UPS guy showing up with my new trash can. <laughs> so here's a little paper bag. And if we go through the contents of this, there is a vintage recipe card, one of those old Betty Crocker cards, a library card and pocket. There is a hand stamped card. This one I've put postcard here at the top, handle with care at the side. There is a guest check, a blank tag, a layaway tag, a strip of three white tickets, and then just a tag that I've punched out of the leftover cover paper. So that's everything out of the little brown paper bag. And then here in the smaller glassine bag clipped to the front of the envelope, we have an old cigarette or tea card. Love these little images. You're either going to get a bird or a butterfly. We have a vintage penny roll coin envelope. And then on the inside, we have two of these brown price tags, a couple old postage stamps, the typical punches that I'll include with the leftover paper. I just like to punch some out. So there are some banners, some scalloped square things, and then the little hearts that you could use on your center strings if you want to. There are two brown craft small tags, an old vintage nickels coin wrapper, two of these smaller manila tags with strings, one white claim check, and then one smaller inventory tag. All right, you guys, and that is everything that is included in this Count Your Blessings collection. If you missed yesterday's video, that link will be in the description box down below. It's a little long because I had a lot of old things that I could share and put up in my shop. So um, that link will be down below if you want to see any of the other items that will be listed. I do want to mention shipping really quick. When you buy multiple items in Etsy, Etsy has a weird way of calculating the shipping. So anything that is over the cost of the shipping will be refunded to you. When I'm going through all of the orders and things, typically on like Sunday or Monday, I will be refunding you that shipping, the extra buck or few bucks that you spend on shipping, depending on how much, you know, different items that you buy. Other than that, shipping the basic cost of shipping with USPS has gone up a little bit in general, just to ship first class on a basic kit. Um, anything under one pound, I can ship first class and you get that option. But once it goes over a pound, if you start adding things together, it has to go priority. I know most of you know that, but it can be confusing sometimes. So the cost of shipping has gone up and I do apologize for that. I wish it didn't. I wish a lot of things didn't cost more right now, but oh, uh, unfortunately they are. And shipping is one of those things, but I will refund you any extra shipping. So I just wanted to say that. There is a design team. I probably already mentioned it, but their links will be in the description box down below where they will be working and playing around with this collection as well. And they are so fun to watch and um, hopefully inspire you along the way. I will also share some videos working with this kit. I can't wait to get back into making videos. It's been a couple weeks, probably a few weeks since I've posted videos. So I'm super excited to have something to play with again. Otherwise, if you guys have any questions and I have failed to remember mentioning something, shoot me a message on Etsy. My Etsy link is down below, as you know, and you can send me a message there and I will get that a lot quicker today. Um, than comments on this video just because of working and trying to get everything together. So shoot me a message over there if you have a question and I'll get back to you ASAP. I think that is everything. I hate saying that because I usually forget something, but that's okay. Most of you are well seasoned <laughs> in all of this. So thank you so very much for your love and support. Oh, Facebook group. 
there's a Facebook group. I've been struggling to create videos lately and get them out, but on Facebook, a lot of times I can stay in touch with you guys. This has been a hard, March was a hard month because I had a lot of visitors come and stay with us, but um, Facebook, it's much easier for me to make a post in the group and just give a little update. So if you aren't part of that and, it, and you're curious about the collections, uh, be sure to join the Facebook group. All right. I think that's everything, you guys. Thank you so much again. Noon, 12 Eastern Standard Time. This kit will be up in the shop and I look forward to seeing everything that you do with this kit. If you have any questions, get a hold of me. Otherwise, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.